With all of our parts available, we're now going to start our assembly. Currently, all of the parts have the ability to move. If I click and drag, I can move them around my assembly area. All of the parts are available to move except for the base, which if I look over here in my part list, I can see that there is a small fixed icon that I put on there so that that part doesn't move. As we use our make connectors, we will remove degrees of freedom from each of the parts and create relationships. They generally is a point to point connection. So we're going to use these first three make connectors. Here is Fasten, Revolute, and Slider. Let's start with a Fasten Mate, and we're going to fasten the handle pin to the handle. I'm going to use my mouse to zoom in on the handle pin, and as I come over it, I can see Mate connectors light up. In this case, I want the shoulder, and I want the center of that pin. So I'll click the mouse to put a mate connector there. Now I'm going to zoom out and here is the top surface of the handle and I can see a mate connector as I zoom around I can see a mate connector on that top surface on the center of the hole. So I'll click there. That will mate those two together. And this being a fasten mate, they will not move or rotate. I'll accept the green box and go back to my isometric view. Next, we'll place these slider parts into the groove where they need to slide. So obviously, we'll use a slider mate. So I'm going to zoom in on one of my sliders. And notice I'll take, I have a... Uh, a mate connector at the end or in the middle of this edge. I'm going to choose the middle of that edge. Then I will zoom out and go to my base, rotate around, and I'm going to choose the mate connector that is right on the end of that edge of the groove and click. Now notice that it jumps in and those two parts align. If I go up into the dialog box, I can click on this little arrow to, to view an illustration of the degrees of freedom. And I can see that this is free to slide back and forth. So I'm going to use the green checkbox to accept that. Now, if I use my mouse and grab a hold of the slider, I can see that that relationship will stay fixed, but it has a degree of freedom to slide. So again, we'll use another slider I will choose again the mid mate connector on that edge and the end mate connector on this edge, check my degree of freedom and accept that. Next we're going to mate the hole on the top of, the of each slider to the hole on the handle. We want them to be able to revolve, so we'll use a revolute mate. I'll first zoom in on a slider, and I'm going to choose the mate at the top of the hole, centered on that. And on the handle, we need to go uh, flip around to the bottom, and I'm going to choose a mate connector that's in the center bottom surface of that. Now I can see that those two have come together. I'm going to use the arrow to see what the degrees of freedom are and they rotate. I'll accept that. Next we will connect the other Revolute Mate between the top surface of this slider. And I want to make sure I'm on the center of that hole and the bottom center of the hole on the handle. Now you see that it jumps out there even though I have other mates in place. You hit the little solve button and it puts things back uh, so that it brings all of the mate connectors information together and we'll accept this. Now with those two connected on a Revolute 
I should be able to grab hold of the handle and start to move that around and see that they actually will slide in the groove as we revolve. Lastly, we're going to put the slider pins in place. I'm going to use a fasten mate. And they're going to be fastened to the top surface, the mate in the center of the hole. With, if we zoom in here, you'll see the mate on the bottom of the head, center of the cylinder. And we'll click. I can see that that's put together. Should have no freedom to move. And we'll do the same thing for the other pin. I'm going to choose a fasten, center of the top surface on that hole, the bottom of the head in the middle of the cylinder, except that and now we've finished our assembly.